this is a crazy video, right? Courtesy of the public freakout subreddit that I'm always kind of on and checking from time to time because I like to remind myself of how disgusting and downtrodden and outright awful humans can be in you know in all the in all their guises all around the world. And this is a great example of it. And this is also a great example for people who will go out there and say stuff like, "Oh, you should never hit women." Oh. I don't see there's any reason why you should ever get in a situation where you should hit a woman. As if to say there's no instance in your entire life that you can think of that would make somebody snap to the point where they'd want to physically assert themselves on a woman or whoever kind of did the, you know, did the bad thing to them. And I've always thought that sort of stuff was really disingenuous because it kind of assumes that women are just infallible. They just don't have anything that they could do that could ever press, especially a dude's buttons, to the point where you want to hurt them. And I think it's really also, um, it's, purpose, it's purposefully um, naive because we've all grown up. We've all kind of, you know, been young once. And we know there are kids, especially boys, who they don't know how to communicate verbally. They don't know how to communicate you know physically through violence or through wrestling or just through fucking around they don't have any way of kind of articulating their words so it's really dumb i think to suggest that you could ever be in a situation where there would be no instance where a guy who is you know has from birth has always been somebody that's been very tactile hands-on full of energy doesn't necessarily know how to sit down maybe then turns to get into you know have life experiences that maybe turn him into being a little bit of an angry dude how you couldn't get to a point where he's arguing with a woman who of course has a better way of arguing with her words than you do because she's never had in her entire life had to use her physical prowess to win an argument or to assert herself it's no coincidence that a guy could just not get to a point where there's nothing else he can say that's going to help him win the argument. So the only way he knows how to win the argument, the only way he knows how to bring things back in his favour, is to do the old slap a -roo. Which, of course, I don't condone, don't get me wrong. But again, this is proof, this video specifically is proof, that there is sometimes occasions in um, scenarios where maybe hitting a woman, especially a woman that you don't know, because again, I know people think, oh, don't hit a woman, cool, I understand. But sometimes hitting a woman you don't know makes a whole lot of sense in this sort of scenario and this video is of a red sox game i'm not sure if red sox are baseball or football i'm assuming if baseball um there's a guy sitting down a woman with her hands crossed arguing with a dude and the girl that she's with and from what i can ascertain um she was in maybe the wrong seats but didn't want to move and told those guys to go move to the other seats and the other her friends did but she wanted to stay there and make a point and i guess they got into that argument that people do where they get into an argument and they don't want to like lose face so they just stand there and just keep bickering and then we just see what happens here See that? Oh, nice. And she spits on him. And she spits on him. Now, I don't know if those two guys are together. I don't know if the guy and the girl are together or if she's just somebody separate. But I would be really disappointed if I was out with a girl and my girlfriend and we're in a situation where I was trying to show maximum restraint in a situation where I did nothing wrong and a, another girl came up and spat at me. I would expect my friend who's seen me show restraint to step in for me and you know hit the girl on my behalf or at least push her but do something right i would appreciate that very much i wouldn't appreciate just like oh my god that's so out of order like i don't want that don't don't out of order me because in that instance spitting on somebody is one of the lowest things you can ever do and it's one of those things that if you ever did it if it was a guy on guy thing there is no like, words being exchanged it's straight arms it's straight violence it's straight headbutts knees elbows pinching punching of the balls squeezing of the balls twisting of the nut whatever loads of violence is going down if that happens someone maybe even stick a finger up your bum right in that respect someone's gonna do something but it's incredible to think that we've got to a point in life where men are in a position where they are not even i'm sure in his mind something happened in the beginning of the argument where he switched he was like i don't care what she does because clearly she was at a point where she's lost her point 
She's lost her reasons to stand there and bicker with you. So you know she's willing to do anything to kind of make herself feel like she's the moral victor in this argument, right? So you have to turn a switch in your head that tells you, no matter what she does, I'm not going to react. Which is difficult because, again, she could have kicked you in the nuts. She could have spat on you. She could have, I don't know, said something derogatory about your parents that were there. I don't know. She could have done something that could have touched anyone's buttons, right? Or even that guy specifically buttons. We don't know what his buttons are, but she could have said something that could have been like, you know what? No one says that to me. And here we go. Tasmanian devil. But he must have decided early on in interaction not to say it because he doesn't even move. He doesn't even stand up. She spits on him and he just continues walking, like looking straight out to the field where they're playing baseball. And it's like, wow. Like that is proof, in my opinion, that there are some women sometimes that unfortunately might deserve a little elbow, I deserve a little push, deserve a little uppercut, might deserve a little right hook, left hook, something, a little jab. Especially in this case, like what's a dude meant to do? What's a well-behaved guy meant to do? Just cross his hands and say, oh yeah, my bad. Like even if he says something again, this guy seems pretty well chilled, well, well mannered, seems pretty chill. Like, you know, they're going back and forth. He's saying, hey, you know, Melissa, your friends have been calling you the whole day. You've always been, you've been in the wrong. So again, we don't know what's happening. Maybe they are in the wrong, but regardless, we're at this point now where more likely than not, you're causing a nuisance to these people. Just walk away. She doesn't. And in an effort to kind of, you know, rewrite her earlier wrongs in the argument, maybe, I don't know what she does. She just has to spit on the dude. I could have never forgive that. Really couldn't forgive that. Like, I, I don't know what I would do. I, don't even, I wouldn't even go as far as saying what I was going to do. I don't even know what I would do. That's how bad it would be. It would be that bad for me. But that is, again, definitely proof of, you know, Bill Burr's bit that there always is a reason to hit a woman or to hit anybody. There's definitely a reason. Um, you obviously don't want to do it. You want to show restraint. You don't want to get into physical altercations with anybody um, out in the streets, especially because you never know what anybody's capable of because, you know, you're not taking anyone for granted. She might be, you know, 75 kilograms soaking wet, but if she has a weapon or something sharp, she could put, you know, she, she could inflict a lot of damage. So you don't want to obviously do that sort of stuff. But God damn it. Imagine being that person. Imagine being that person that just spits loogies at randoms because you're not happy that they kind of took your seat. It's like, huh? Uh, anyway, bizarre people, man. Bizarre people.